Hi there, and welcome to She Spice. So you can see that first film. Kevin Hart taking part in a problematic collaboration for certain people he was situated with on the off chance that the reports are correct. That person he is embarrassing so terrible is truly his companion currently remember. But as we tell you of the charges that have arisen proposing that Kevin Hart's been swindling individual dark specialists seeing the recording above. Does this claim truly appear up until this point? After all, the coursing film has certainly ignited examination and brought up issues about Hart's activities in the local area. I mean, simply take a gander at everything Kevin Hart is saying to somebody who should be near him here. All the other things I had cash for, before you and everything, assuming all that halted you. Yes, you're a liar. So after this video circulated around the web, many individuals have come to accept that Kevin Hart simply loves to force his powers on other dark craftsmen. I can't endure make ever Ronald. Do you have a house that is moronic? Do you have a home I've been bringing in cash? Way before this, for what reason aren't you answering the inquiry question? You sound imbecilic, no. I'm serious. The video was sufficient to raise hypotheses about Kevin's past supposed. Occurrences where he was not seen to be a decent man. As per a few sources, numerous vibes have discussed him and how he isn't evidently great for youthful dark craftsmen. How about we start with Dave Chappelle? Dave Chappelle purportedly shed some light on Kevin Hart's supposed dim inheritance and how Kevin can do a few unseemly exercises for Hollywood, just for cash and distinction. They put each individual of color in the motion pictures in a dress sooner or later in their vocation. I be associating and down. Like, why this large number of siblings got weird dressed over the course of quite a while? Hollywood has confronted far and wide analysis for its commitment to propagating different generalizations especially those that essentially impact the public's impression of dark people among a significant crowd. This period has started a discussion featuring the conflict that the restricted open doors accessible inside media outlets have constrained dark craftsmen to acknowledge cliche jobs as a fundamental method for supporting their professions and occupations. A WI individual can't get to stay here and converse with you. Although media outlets haven't completely achieved racial uniformity contemporary entertainers, in all actuality, do have a level of organization over their decisions. What demonstrates charm in the domain of these cutting-edge figures is their obvious receptiveness to embrace dressing and drag jobs with Kevin Hart's name standing apart. Strikingly in this setting, you can recollect when Kevin Hart showed up on SNL dressed as a little child. Ugh, Pope Seenan is lifting her arms into her unmistakable muscle man, and you can recall when Kevin Hart showed up on SNL dressed as a little kid Everyone began reprimanding Kevin for being somebody whose activities didn't uphold his words before the show. Kevin appeared in a meeting and obviously said that he could never do amateurish exercises for Hollywood, as others did in the past. I resembled no one. I'm going to look bad toward the end. The day you got to realize that you're a brand, yet just after this, Kevin showed up on a television program regardless of safeguarding his image and poise. Why this thing irritated Dave Chappelle? is on the grounds that he is a man of respect and has consistently represented individuals of color in the business about how they are dealt with like trash by Hollywood elites. Kevin doing this large number of silly asserted things annoyed Chapel, and he purportedly spilled tea on each and every detail of who deceived Kevin to seem like this on television screens. Dave guaranteed that Kevin Hart is being caught and controlled by the Illuminati and furthermore through Jay-Z. Kevin's activities on that show caused individuals to estimate that Kevin and Jay-Z are both pieces of the Illuminati. With how close those two have all the earmarks of being, I can't actually say I fault it. It was made from cash. I'm the thing you're not getting from the daily routine that I'm experiencing to what we, as a need, might arise to wake us up to what we want to see anyway. Jay-Z and Kevin are not by any means the only superstars that came to the eyes of the Illuminati, in the event that all of you recall. Dave Chappelle additionally once turned down a job of an astounding $50 million and traveled to South Africa as per Chappelle Bowl the interest from Hollywood elites to do parody that he would have rather not done turn out to be a lot for himself, and he took off when he happened to the following level in his profession. A debate began continuing once again the wellspring of the external strain that was driving him to do things that he would have rather not done, and some inhabited have guessed that it was the Illuminati as they did with Kevin anyway Chappelle disappeared driving everybody to conjecture that he had gone crazy. Anyway, it worked out that he simply maintained that some time should rediscover what his identity was and potentially retress all that he had recently done. Dave supposedly 
uncovered that he had been purposely put under pressure, yet Dave has additionally shown the nerves of man, and he never let himself offer to some, and Dave generally denied all that to do, which conflict. Catch it with pride, be it even a $50 million satire show. Dave said, I don't need the cash. I don't need the traumatization. I simply believe that you should rehash my show. Chappelle cleared up for Oprah Winfrey that the essential reason he chose to leave the program was on the grounds that he dreaded. He would never again have inventive command over his own ability. I was doing draws that were entertaining yet socially untrustworthy. He said it was empowered. This is perhaps Chappelle's most unbearably legitimate assertion about himself, as well as about the diversion business all in all, and just let it out or not. Dave is, in a real sense, the public's one, and his allies never falter in their help. One fan communicated his thoughts in these words. I love Dave Chappelle and his assurance to not permit satanic business. Holly Peculiar and Music, Dear Master, if it's not too much trouble, safeguard him. One more fan concocted these words. We need to encompass and uphold individuals like Caney and other people who are awake and wouldn't be oppressed. God says, don't be upset by being blessed. May no weapon framed against any of us flourish. No voodoo black magic, dark enchantment, or some other detestable soul will be sent back to the shipper. Judgment will be censured, and all malicious maxims will be decided by God. Yet, by all accounts, that is not the only time. Hart's name has surfaced regarding the strange gathering. The jokester's cooperation with the Illuminati was the subject of much contention, yet the first is somebody who has been associated with being an Illuminati part for quite a while. Jay-Z and a few sharp eyewitnesses guarantee that the two famous people as of late examined the shadowy gathering on the comics TV program. They had a candid conversation as they discussed how to give youth more organization. Jay's demeanor said it all. Jay-Z depicted how he is communicating his experience through rock country, yet a few viewers think Kevin unintentionally uncovered his asserted association with the Illuminati when he remarked on the room with the entryway behind it. We never approached that kind of data. Observers expressed that Jay-Z's threatening glare was adequate to make him quit talking. Assuming that you think about what Dave Chappelle expressed about him and what he says regarding the world overall, you'll understand that Kevin's activities made many individuals stress over the truth of his contribution to the Illuminati and whether it was valid. It is turning out to be increasingly clear that there is significantly more happening in the background than these individuals can convey in light of the fact that this industry is a beast. Apparently, Dave Chappelle's meetings have not been an exemption from this norm, as his profession has been characterized by his firm trustworthiness, and these meetings are no special case for this standard. Chappelle, in spite of his popularity, tried not to work in the Hollywood business, and a portion of his partners even left the nation looking for additional veritable open doors anyway. There was one meeting specifically that made conniving scholars go into a furor about it. During Chappelle's discussion with James Lipton, a considerable number of his fans accepted that he was attempting to allude to some sort of association with the famous Illuminati. A few people were directed to expect that Chappelle was setting himself in peril because of his forceful explanations, which included remarks concerning the emotional wellness of individuals from the Hollywood People Group. He said a frail individual can't get to stay here and converse with you. There aren't any feeble individuals conversing with you, so what's going on in Hollywood? No one knows the most exceedingly terrible thing to call someone insane. It's pretentious. I don't grasp this individual, so they're insane. That is Bull's reference mark. Bullet T individuals are not insane. They're resilient individuals. Perhaps the climate is a little debilitating. He likewise referenced that he planned to run away to a ranch, away from the defilement of media outlets. I mean, I'm a scheme theist to some extent, like when I associate dabs that perhaps ought not be, I don't be aware. Notwithstanding this, it has additionally been expressed by Dave that Kevin Hart and Jay-Z are unbelievably near each other, and it has likewise been expressed. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.